We do have a musical guest uh, joining us this week, and we are proud to be joined by Kendall Conrad. Kendall, very pleasant good day to you. Yeah, you as well. Thanks yeah, so much for having me. It's great to have you here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You are a singer, actor, songwriter. You're kind of a one-man band, no pun intended. Yeah, I, I am, I'm super controlling, I think. That's why I want to have my hands on everything. That's all good. Um, but I'm from Pottstown, Pennsylvania, lived there my whole life. And so I just, I do a lot of gigs in Lehigh Valley. Y'all are very good to me. So I'm up here like all the time. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, performed at Music Fest, uh, affiliated with uh, Keith Urban. Uh, tell us about that. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, so I, I don't ever get tired of talking about it. <laughs> like I'm ever. sure you don't. I don't. I it was like, yeah. oh my God, it was the best night of my life. So um, Keith was looking for, for women to sing this, this song with him, We Were Us, that he does with Miranda Lambert. And there was no women on the tour to sing the song with him every night. So um, he put this thing up on, on his Facebook page and was like looking for submissions for people to sing with him. And I sent in a video and didn't really think I would ever hear anything. Mm -hmm. Like just did it for fun. And like his management called me and it was insane. So I got to meet him beforehand. He mailed me a signed guitar afterward and put my name on it and said, thank you for singing with me. And I was like, you're welcome, Keith. How big is that for your career <laughs> when something like that happens for you? I mean, I think it wasn't, I don't know if, if the show was sold out, but there was at least like 5,000 people there. Um, I, I have met people that come to my gigs now at that show who saw me. That's awesome. Who follow me now. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and now we're friends and it's just, it's really cool. So it was, it was a huge deal. You write your own music. You like as you, as we mentioned. Uh, what are you going to play for us here this evening? All right. So I am going to play. This one is not online anywhere yet, but I love it. So maybe it's going to be on an upcoming record. We'll see. Well, but we, um, it's called "Go Through You." Go through you. Yes. Kendall Conrad, ladies and gentlemen. When we return, we'll talk Muhlenberg wrestling. Kendall, it's all yours. A shot of the good stuff, I couldn't get enough We were sky high, just the two of us Everybody else wishing they could get a taste of the buzz And we were on, singing our songs like Everything was going so well, yeah And then we fell, like a slap in the face I didn't want it, but I needed it But I needed it, like a Cool shower in the early morning hours Wasn't feeling it, but I needed it Yeah, you put me through hell and at the time I didn't know why you did me like that Oh, baby, love is blind, but now I see I had to go through you to get to me, get to me Get to me, get to me I was totally hooked, I was addicted to the idea of us But it wasn't true, made me try my dreams just to care for you Now I'm sitting here singing that different tune Ain't that what you're trying to say, yeah I didn't want it, but I needed it, but I needed it Like a cool shower in the early morning hours Wasn't feeling it, but I needed it Yeah, you put me through hell and at the time I didn't know why you did me like that Oh, baby, love is blind, but now I see I had to go through you to get to me, get to me, get to me, get to me Yeah, to get to me Yet it gets me. Kendall Conrad, you call your guitar your best friend. Tell I us do. about this one here. I do. So I, uh, I never really had a lot of friends. That sounds so sad. Um, but <laughs> I never really had a clique or a group of people that mm -hmm. I hung out with. So like I would go home after school and sit with my guitar and just play, write songs, learn cover songs. Like I would sit with it for hours and hours and hours, mm -hmm. just me and my guitar. Well, so. it seems like you have a pretty nice relationship. Aww. So uh, thank you for joining <laughs> us. But first, more from Kendall Conrad. Kendall, yeah, we mentioned that you've played at Music Fest. What's the, what's the I mean, you've played, you've done National Anthem for Major League Baseball, and uh, you've played in some neat venues. What's the neat, uh, the best environment you've performed in? Um, so it was, I think it was two years ago now, I opened for Blake Shelton 
at the Dick's Sporting Goods You're Open. You're rubbing elbows with the big timers. It was he <laughs> and he's also big. He's like over <laughs> okay, six foot. Okay, in more ways than one. Right. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Hello. Yes. Um, but there's 18,000 people there, and they put the the stage like on the golf green almost, and it was like it was a really cool show. But I love Blake also, mm -hmm. so I got to like meet him, and it was just the whole thing was really great. So that's the coolest show I think I've done. No get, offense to anybody else that I've opened yeah, for. Yeah, right. Uh, do, you get, <laughs> do you get nervous in that environment? And if so, how do you deal with that to settle down and get yourself to perform at your best? I only get nervous when I sing the anthem. Oh, is that right? I don't feel nerves at all, like uh -huh. singing. When I sing the anthem, uh, like my, my parents come to see me sing the anthem. They're, they say that I always look very like calm, but on the inside I'm like panicked. Like, it's I like always, very weird. I, I, I have mean, such anxiety. Yeah, I mean, I hear the national anthem like once a day uh, with all the sporting events that we do. And I, when I hear the singers, I always think to myself, "Don't you get forget the words?" Or you know, it's so it's so much pressure. Like, I would think. and everyone hates you. <laughs> like, so it's like so much like. Oh I'm my god! I'm sure that's not the case. It's like no, if you mess it up, it's right, like right. you go well, down in infamy. Good, right. It's like oh, that's that girl from yeah, that yeah, sang yeah. Lehigh Valley. You've also played at the White anthem. House. What? How did how did that materialize? So that. They always have groups and choirs and things sing mm -hmm. for the uh, the Christmas tree lighting, and um, this was like eight years ago, uh, and they never had soloists. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna fill out the application as a soloist. And it worked. And like, it's never happened. And they picked me. And it worked. And I, was, I think I was the first one to awesome. be solo and sing. What do you have for us going to break? This is my first single that I put out June 28th or something like that. It's closing in on 200,000 streams awesome. on Spotify. Good for you. Which I'm excited about. But it's called Come to Your Senses. Have fun. Wake up, wake up, been waiting all night for you to let up, let up. Quit playing games, it's your move. Put down your bottle, go full throttle, walk up to me, boy. Get out of your head, get out of mind instead. This might sound crazy, boy. Smell the potential of the night and just come over here. Come to your senses. Smell the potential of the night and just come over here. Me whisper in your ear and pull you closer. Feel my breath on your neck, taste my lips, my wheels. You could see where this could go. Cause I know if you jump your defenses, you'll come to your KendallConrad.com. She prefers Instagram or Facebook. That's the best place to find that fine music. Kendall Conrad, where are you going to be next where some fans can see you? What's your next gig? Um, I don't even know. That's how often I play. I play like five days a week. So it's just about every night. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So um, I post my gigs on my Facebook page. And okay. we were discussing earlier, even if you're not on Facebook, you can still see my schedule on my Facebook page. It's under the events tab. Awesome to have you with us. What are you going to send us home with? All right. This is my newest single, dropped in October for Halloween. Uh, good. It's called uh, Leader the Pack. It's my favorite thing I've done so far. Good so. stuff. Kendall Conrad, hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. You dumped me in the dark, out in the woods. You thought you could keep me from the stars, they're closing in now. I can hear them growl, you left me for dead with nothing else to be said. Didn't give me a second thought, set your traps and I was calm. If I'm my way to the top, ain't gonna stop till she up and spew out. No one around to see you now. If you throw me to the wolves, I'll come back, come back, I'll come back, come back, the leader of the pack. Of 
your back. I survived. Now I'm a predator on the chase, and you're the prey. You can't. I can't run from me now. I'll hunt you down. Yeah, you left me for dead with nothing else to be said. Then give me a second thought. Set traps and I was coming up on my way to the top. Ain't gonna stop to chew up and spew out. No one around to save you now. If you throw me to the wolves, I'll come back, come back. I'll come back, come back. The leader of the pack. Pack, pack, pack. The leader of the pack. You left me for dead with nothing else to be said. Then give me a second thought. Set your traps and I was caught my thumb away to the top. Ain't gonna stop. Switch you up and speed out. No one around to save you now. 